Hey guys, so these are the items that I will be using today to color my hair. Um, you will need some gloves, you will need a Loma Foil or the Loma Foil wraps, it's whatever you prefer. Um, you will also will need some bleaching powder and you could get some Paris Light. Um, that's just a purple toner, it's good to um, brass out any um, brassiness. And you can use a 40 drop or a 20 drop, it's up to you. And they also have a 30 drop. And of course you would definitely need some hair. You will need a comb, an applicator brush, and an applicator bowl. And I'm just going to put two scoops into the applicator bowl. And I'm going to go in with my fully developer. You can use um, any of you like. The mixing tool that I'm using is just a mixer for bleach and for coloring. I got it from Sally's. It was about um, $2.00. And it comes, it works very well. So I let the bleach sit for a little bit, and now I'm gonna add the first light. And my bleach is gonna turn into a purplish color. So now I lay down my lump before you. As you can see, I push the hair up a little up just so I can know where to start to apply my bleach. I don't want my bleach to go all the way to the left. I do want my um, dark color to still remain. I want my roots to be dark. And I want the bottom to be lighter for when I go in for the coloring. First thing first, you must, you must, must, must use gloves. So now I'm just going to apply the bleach onto the hair. And when you're applying bleach to the hair, make sure you don't miss anything just because you want an even application. And I really don't like harsh lines so I'm going in with my comb and I'm going to use that to help me have the color fade in more because because it's a, it's because if it's a thin tooth comb it's easier for it to fade in so that's a little trick especially if you don't like the harsh line throughout your hair I really hate that look I like my hair to fade in so the comb trick really works very well Now make sure you turn your bundle over and do the same thing that you did to the first to the first side. Now I'm gonna repeat the same set steps to the next two bundles. I'm just checking my work, making sure I didn't miss anything, reapplying the bleach to areas that I want to be colored. You know, again, just make sure you take your time on this because you want an even application.
So now everything is my liking. I'm just gonna wrap the hair up into foil you and I'm just gonna let it sit. I let my hair sit about an hour to two hours and I went back and checked it. I checked it. This is um, after two hours and I'm checking it now and it's not as bright as I want it to be so I'm just gonna um, fold it back up and I'm just gonna let it sit for another hour and a half so this is it after it's been colored and deep conditioned and washed and air dried and I just loved it because it's more like a fade in effect it don't have that harsh line just like I want it to be So now I'm coloring the hair. This is the one on the argan oil hair color. And this is the color 4C. And I just love it. If you're a weave girl um, and you know your numbers, that color is about a 33. And being that I use a 40 dropper to bleach the hair, I decided to use a 20 dropper to finish off coloring the hair just because I did not want my hair to be over processed. I'm just following the directions on how to mix it from off the box. Now I'm applying the color to the hair and it's basically self-explanatory. Um, you just apply it to the hair. It doesn't matter if you go all the way up to the to the darker area, to the weft. Um, it's still going to have that fading effect just because the weft is darker and the bottom is lighter. Of course, you're going to see more color towards the bottom just because I bleached the bottom very light. And you're just going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Just make sure you go over your work. It's not a rush. Just take your time at this and make sure you apply that color. As you see, I'm spacing it out and I'm applying it to the middle because I see blonde. And this is just me. Um, swinging it through, I'm just using my hands now and I'm just making sure everything is together. I'm smoothing everything out because I'm just making sure everything is half color on it because I do not want to have to go back in to recolor it and all of that. So just take your time and it's not a rush. So now I'm just wrapping the hair up in the garbage bag. Oh, again, you can use garbage bag, you can use normal for you for this process, but I chose to use a garbage bag because that's what I chose to do. And I'm just gonna have my hair sit under the dryer um, for about an hour to an hour and a half, and I'm gonna check it. And this is how it looks, guys. This is if you haven't checked out my um video on the review I'm gonna leave that link in the description box so make sure you guys check it out and thanks for watching